Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said the energy crisis is disrupting the power generation due to the impact of the global crisis. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said these words while inaugurating the Chilahati Express train by connecting virtually from Gonobhabon in the morning. She also said people of the country are suffering due to increasing load shedding. It also suffers from rising commodity prices. She said progress has been made in the process of importing hydropower from Nepal through India. Referring to the terrible train accident in India, the head of government ordered everyone to be aware to prevent rail accidents in the country. Sheikh Hasina said the government is working to build a rail network across the country. There is a plan to build a rail link to Borishal and Paira in the future. Regarding the proposed budget for the new financial year, Sheikh Hasina said our government will implement this budget even though many people talk a lot. Japan is also worried about the human rights and democratic situation in Bangladesh centering the upcoming elections as well as its own business and investment. This was stated by BNP leader Amit Khosru Mahmoud Choudhury after a meeting with the Japanese ambassador at the chairperson's office in Gulshan. A delegation headed by Japanese ambassador to Dhaka, Iwama Kiminori, held a meeting with the BNP delegation at BNP chairperson's Gulshan office at 10 a.m. on Sunday. The meeting was led by BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir. Party's standing committee member Amir Khosru Mahmoud Choudhury and organizing secretary Shama Obaid also participated in the meeting. Later, BNP leader Amir Khosru Mahmoud Choudhury came before the me media about the content of the meeting. He said since Japan is Bangladesh's friend and development partner, they also have many investments here. Therefore, in view of the upcoming elections, the country's democracy, human rights, and economic situation were discussed in the meeting. BNP has expelled its 19 leaders, including independent mayoral candidate Kamrul Hassan, for life after they decided to participate in upcoming Borishal city polls. Apart from Kamrul Hassan Rupon, the expelled councillor candidate, Mohanagar BNP joint convener and member of Mohanagar BNP. Earlier last Thursday, BNP had ordered them to reply in writing within 24 hours, asking why organizations all measures will not be taken against these 19 leaders. Ahead of the Kulna City Corporation elections, the value of slam dealers is increasing. Candidates are making various promises to get the support of the people who are deprived from citizen charter. However, the voters said they want to elect candidates who are qualified to fulfill their promises. Kulna City Corporation elections to be held for the sixth time on June 12. Every time when election comes, the value of the slum dwellers get increased, which has not been changed this time as well. According to the Bureau of Statistics, the city has 20,658 slum units, where the residents of these units are facing various problems. Candidates are running to low-income people with a bunch of promises to increase civil rights or privileges. People said before the elections, many things were said about the development of the slums. But after the elections, the slum dwellers have to live in fear of eviction. In the proposed budget, the revenue collection target has been fixed at Taka 4,30,000 crores. However, the former chairman of the organization think that it is not possible to achieve the target with the current capacity of NBR. They also think tax automation, reform of tax policy and speedy approval of tax law in parliament are needed to achieve the target. The budget of Taka 7,61,785 crore given by the finance minister for the fiscal year 2023-24 has an income target of Taka 5,3,000 crore. National Board of Revenue NBR has been given a target of collecting 85% of the total income. The finance minister said the revenue collection target that has been fixed is achievable. But the former chairman of NBR consider such expectations of the finance minister to be ambitious. For the fourth time in the proposed budget, an allocation has been made to deal with the adverse effects of climate change. According to experts, even though the allocation has increased every fiscal year, its proper implementation is in the primary stage. In addition to building capacity to understand the signs of climate change, they suggest implementation plans that prioritize the most vulnerable populations. The government is not limiting the responsibility of dealing with the adverse effects of climate change to the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, but is adding other related ministers and departments. In this case, the allocation is also increasing 
every fiscal year to combat the adverse effects of climate change. An allocation of 37,000 51.94 crore has been proposed in the proposed budget for the coming fiscal year. National Tea Day is being celebrated today with the theme of a prosperous tea industry is the pledge of Tea Day. The main program of National Tea Day has been organized at Sri Mongol in Mulubi Bazar, known as the capital of tea. This time, for the first time, eight individuals and organization in eight categories will be given the National Tea Award 2023. Among them, Upaloki Tripura of Chattogram's Fortichuri is getting the award for picking 50 kg of leaves per hour. Also, seven institutions are getting National Tea Award. A day-long tea fair has been organized on the occasion. Tea from different organizations will be displayed and sold at the tea fair. The tea fair will be open for visitors throughout the day. At least three people have been killed and ten others injured as a bus rammed a CNG-run auto rickshaw at Shasta Gonj in Hobi Gonj. The incident took place at Shudhyokkola area of the Upozela on Sunday morning. All the deceased were known as driver and passengers of the auto rickshaw while the injured of the bus. The deceased were identified as Ziaul Hussein, Musa Mia and auto rickshaw driver Rofik Mia. Police said that Hakka bound Mawa Modern Puribohan bus from Hobi Gonch hit the CNG run auto rickshaw, leaving three dead on the spot. Some 10 passengers on the bus sustained injuries as it plunked into a roadside ditch after the driver lost the control over steering. Sajek's cloud mountains attracts tourists throughout this year. However, this popular tourist spot is losing its beauty due to unplanned construction of cottages everywhere. Tourists demand to maintain the beauty of by constructing planned structures. Sajek is one of the most attractive tourist destinations in the country. This tourist centre is in the first line of choice for travellers. The number of unplanned hotels, motels and cottages has been built on both sides of the road starting from the entrance of Sajik Valley as the number of tourists increases. Every day, two to 3,000 tourists travel to Sajik. Everywhere, these structures are creating obstacles to enjoy the nature and disappointed tourists. Even if there is no rain or monsoon, there is water logging throughout the year in capital Dhaka's Dokkin Khan and Ashkona Road. Due to the lack of drainage system, the dirty water creates endless suffering for the people. People of the areas in Dhaka North City said they have been suffering for several years. The councillor said the work will start in a few days to solve the problem. The main reason for this is there is no drainage system in the area. Parents and students are also angry about the suffering. Drivers of various vehicles are also in trouble due to flooding. The local councillor said even if there is a little delay, the work will start soon. Despite the good yield, the farmers of Joypur Hat are disappointed with the price of paddy. The price of paddy has decreased by taka 150 to 200 per month in the span of a week. Besides, the cost of production is high. On the other hand, the price of rice is increasing in Potuakali for reducing pedi supply. Due to the good weather, the yield of boro pedi has been 24 to 26 months per big bigha in Joypurhat. Some lands have yielded up to 28 months. The mill owner claimed that the price has fallen due to the poor quality of last year's unsold rice in the market. The authorities have said the action will be taken if there is a complaint of manipulation with pedi. Although the new building was Constructed only five years ago, the structure has collapsed. Non-functioning fan, unusable bathroom, piles of garbage scattered everywhere. Although the authorities informed about the construction defects, but Ministry of Public Works did not find any defects. Five years ago, the new buildings of Sherpur District Hospital with 25 beds was constructed. Tiles, glass and electrical switches have already broken. Bed sheets of patients are lying on the balcony of almost everywhere. The strange is emanating from the piles of garbage everywhere, although nominal medicines are supplied, but most, most have the produce, producer from, produce procured for the outside. The director of the hospital said that a letter has been sent to the director general and the ministry regarding the construction defect. Sweltering heat and hour after hour of Load shedding, the two together have left people breathless. Load shedding is at least eight times a day night, somewhere more than that. The, Mart office, the Met Office said no possibility of rain for another five days. The temperature will also remain the same. Heat wave is going on in all over the country. People's life has become miserable due to intensity. 
To escape from the intense heat, many people have chosen the shade of trees on the side of the road and the park. Even the young children could not bear the heat and played on the streets. Many are keeping themselves cool by fanning themselves. Meanwhile, people across the country are suffering from uncontrolled load shedding. Residents of the capital want a solution to the electricity problem in intense heat.